social update UG. Idi Amin Dada. Idi Amin Dada. Five things you didn't know about Uganda's former president. Uh, Idi Amin Dada was a president of, of the Republic of Uganda some time back, but these are the, some of the things you didn't know about. Uh, at 193 centimeters, which is six feet and four inches tall, and powerfully built, Idi Amin Dada was the Ugandan lightweight heavyweight boxing champion from 1951 to 1960, as well as a swimmer. Now, before you go rising up in arms, just know that we are all humans and therefore prone to mistakes. Field Marshal Al Haj Dr. Idi Amin Dada was not different. The country witnessed gruesome killings during his tenure, especially from the army and police. It isn't any different now, is it? This, however, shouldn't deter us from acknowledging the good things the man did during the eight years he was at the helm of power. Yes, the man had a lot of good things up his sleeve, unlike what the media has insisted on portraying over the years. So buckle up and let's take a ride down memory lane. First of all, the dollar rate and the expansion of the railway. To start off, during his tenure, the dollar remained steady between shillings 7 and shillings 7.50. That was between 1971 and 1979. Yes, Idi Amin did have his priorities in check as far as the economy was concerned. He was also charged with the honor of expanding the Ugandan Railway Corporation. This was used to transport heavy equipment and a lot of agricultural produce mostly coffee and tea of course then that's that was number one he kept the dollar and chain number two satellite links and first female foreign minister in africa he established satellite links which connected uganda to the world established in Mpoma and mokono and in his home region of west nile it was one of a kind connection in africa he appointed the first female foreign minister in 1972 elizabeth Bagaya was among the first women to hold public office, not only in Africa but also the world. He dug and built the biggest fuel reserve in Jinja. This, mind you, was done in one month. Uh -huh. Number three, return of Sir Edward Mutesa's body as a state funeral accord. Rather, under state funeral accord, he was also not fail to mention the very many government schools, colleges, and institutions he established and which are in full operation as we speak. Uh, like he established a lot of many, a lot of schools, government schools, colleges, and institutions which were established by him as I've told you and are still in full operation as we speak. He returned the body of the first president of Uganda, Sir Edward Mutesa, to home and gave him a state funeral had died in London on 19th November 1969. Number four, organization of Islamic Conference and establishment of Uganda Development Bank and the Credit Guarantee Fund. In 1974, he made Uganda a member of the Organization of Islamic Conference without first converting every Ugandan into a Muslim by force. Uganda is the only IOC member that is not an Islamic state. Uh, President Amin provided Uganda manufacturers with additional support through the Uganda Development Bank, which supplemented UBC, or the UCB, which supplemented UCB, which was Uganda Commercial Bank. The Uganda Development Bank and the Credit Guarantee Fund were established under the Uganda Development Bank Act 1972 during Idi Amin Dada's regime and commenced business on 10th November 1972. Uh -huh. Moral and financial support to sports and African Cup of Nations finals. Lastly, lastly, President Hamin also went ahead to provide moral and financial support to sports. In 1972, John Akibua won a 400 meter hurdles gold medal in the Munich Olympics held in Germany. The only gold medal Uganda has won at the Games history by then. Uganda went to the African Cup of Nations. 1978 and reached the finals. Ever since then, the country has never qualified for the tournament. Not a of recent when they qualified, it was once and they didn't go any further. Yeah. Now, that is what you had to know about Idi Amin Dada. Some five interesting fight facts 
that you might not have known already. Uh, let me go back to them briefly. First of all, it was, the first one is, the dollar rate and expansion of the railway. The dollar rate kept in check. Number two, satellite links and first female foreign ministers in Africa. Uh, he appointed the first female foreign minister in, in Africa, and then he built a, settler, a big, huge satellite link Three of them actually. Then he returned Sir Edward Mutesa to his body and also organized a state funeral for that first president of the country. Then he organized the Islamic Conference and established Uganda Development Bank and the Credit Guarantee Fund. Then he was a big sports supporter. Yeah, when it came to sports like football and Olympics was a big supporter. So that, those are some of the things we didn't know about Idi Amin Dada. Uh, just don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. Peace.